Now let's take some time to go over the VSPRO GUI window. And we'll not take a lot of time to talk about exactly what's going on in each of these areas. We're really just describing where some of this information can be found. The details of each of these controls will be covered in subsequent topic videos. Let's begin with the Overview tab, where we'll find the case setup information, where we can choose between thin surface vortex lattice mode and a thick surface panel mode, as well as what set we want to run the geometry on. In the flow condition, we can choose our Alpha, Beta, Mach, and Reynolds numbers. Now note that the Reynolds CREF start here is based on the CREF that we have in our reference areas. So we've got the reference area, reference span, reference cord down here that you can input manually, or you can choose from model and pick any one of the lifting components or wing-based components in your model. And that will automatically fill this information in. And the moment reference position is essentially trying to manually or automatically input the reference for, say, your moment calculations, your pitch, yaw, and roll moments. So in this case, you can manually set it in, pick a location like your wing quarter cord if you want to, or you can run mass props, and it will automatically fill that information in. Now, it's worth noting that if your densities and your masses for the various components in OpenVSP are just arbitrarily defined, then the moments that you get out in the solver are probably not going to make much sense. Uh, so it's important to make sure that either you leave this at zero and just let all the moment contributions be about that point, or set it to something like the wing quarter cord or, or some other place that makes sense for these values. In the advanced tab, you can see that we can choose to use an alternate file format, and that really just turns off the VSP geom and sends it back to either the base DGEN Geom format or the tri format. You can choose a certain number of processors. You can run a semi span model, which is basically just the right side here. And you have access to some other more advanced controls, including running a fixed wake analysis. Now, this turns off the free wake deformation and allows the wakes to just shoot basically straight aft in X, like uh, some other solvers that are out there. The other tab here, we've got stall models if you choose to use those. We've got controls for, say, far field distance and ground effect if you want to include it. Over on the right side here, if you have actuator disks or propellers in your model, you'll be able to turn those on and off here as propeller representations. We also have access to our various run modes, be it a steady stability analysis, a pitch roll and yaw uh, analysis, or an unsteady pitch analysis here. And then advanced flow conditions will be activated as needed for actuator disks or rotating blades. Our slicer is where you can define slices in the model, and that will tell um, a process that will do like a CP slice on a thick surface mode or on your thin panel. It also feeds this information as quadries out to VSPR for volumetric flow visualization. Control grouping, any control surfaces that you have on your wings will be able to be added here, and then you can uh, change the controls and the control group angles here. Disk is where all of your actuator disk information lives, of course. Same thing for propellers. Your unsteady analysis information for rotating propellers will be set up in this tab. The viewer console is just an echo of what goes out to the viewer program. So if you're having issues or any problems debugging what's going on in viewer, that information may be written out here. And finally, down here at the bottom, this is where the VSPRO echo for each run is done. This is the terminal window. And so you can see that it's writing out all of the information from the VSPRO run itself into this, in this box. So you can see everything that's going on down here. Below this, we've got our buttons that either launch the solver, or if it happens to hang, you can kill the solver. You can bring up the results manager window or load previous results if you need to. You can also launch the viewer application so you can use a visualization of the solution and you can export this information out to a CSV. So that's a bit of an overview of the controls and information that you can find in the VSPRO GUI window. As I said, we'll have several opportunities to go back and look at these in detail in topic videos, but hopefully that gives you a bit of a layout.